This is amazing. SpaceX is truly gearing up to Starship Flight 3. There's potential for another immensely powerful rocket to lift off within the next few weeks, provided the launch license is approved in time. Yesterday, Super Heavy Booster 10 was rolled out to the launch complex, joining Starship 28, all set for this test campaign. SpaceX posted the Dawn X, sharing three photos of the spacecraft, and while starting flight, three vehicles are on the pad and a start base of testing ahead of the Starship Mug's next launch also shared in the tweet Starship Super Heavy Booster to the launch pad SpaceX woke up beat and bright and early transporting it to the launch site in a festive Christmas parade like fashion and snowman and riding in the counterweights in the front of the new booster transport stand despite limited views due to the new transport stand booster then seems to have all its engines and shielding intact the way SpaceX transport it was left me extremely impressed. It's hard to imagine and another space company rolling out their multi-million dollar rocket prototype with such a willsome transport spaces truly knows how to create enjoyable movements. All the fate now upon reaching the launch pad, Peter was swiftly posted for a lift into the orbital launch pad mount preparing for the pre-launch testing. The catch arm then locked into the lift point. This marks the first lift of booster of the new style of transport stand, enabling automated hold down release instead of the manual intervention. However, at the time of this report, workers are recently reaching pressure's house of V10 to keep this mouth. Surely on the ground it would be surprising if V10 is already set it in a stands while you are here watching the video. Meanwhile, Ship 28 had the spin prime test of the second stage Starship last weekend. This test checks the pumps of the rocket to ensure that can eject to fuel into the engines during later test and the last time of launch the next stage after a spin prime test in the stack fire with which lights up the engines. If these are successful, then our rocket is ready for launch, provided the SpaceX is confident about these tanks and their ability to withstand fueling and pressurizing regarding the sh Schedule today closure has now been removed, but we still have another alternative day tomorrow from 8 in the morning, 8 in the evening, which will be because mounting the buffer on the OLM is taking presence. First, it will be surprising if V10 will be given priority of testing before Ship 28. There is possibility that SpaceX will conduct additional tests with V10 sooner and perhaps with the entire stake due to the recent upgrades they have completed and the OATF test may quickly residence testing all 33 engines followed by the static fire test of all the 33 engines before being flight ready it's worth nothing the positive uh, considering it took the company three months after the initial test to roll out a booster of the second flight test, the OTL GS7 initially designed to store liquid methane but repurposed as a water tank is underground. Maintenance workers and removing paint from the wheels around the lifting log likely to inspect the wells before discarding the tank from inspection remains the focal point displaying ongoing activity including plumbing, piping and manifold achievements particularly the launch area and try is undergoing significant alternative nations such as the complete removal of container walls and installations of the horizontal tanks, the pipelines additionally to in the additions to the launch pad. Refreshment SpaceX is transporting the seventh section of the third tower, bring it the Florida Starbase taxis with a total of the nine sections planned. It suggests the potential rise of another significant structure and in the side looking ahead of 2024, SpaceX is posting an attempt of groundbreaking, catching the super heavy using the infrastructure on the science single day. It's a expansionally trailing prospect. Stabilizing and the future of the SpaceX exploration test, Blue Organ delayed in the 
Return flight on its new Shepard suborbital vehicle by a name. The film had scheduled a launch of its new Shepard vehicle from its West Tech site of the December 18. However, the company first delayed the launch by an R sighting called a dish condition and the launch site. Then the launch because of an unspecified ground system issued the company announced on the social media late December 18 and it rescheduled the mission design and S24 for December 19 with lift off plan for 11:37 a.m. Eastern as we discussed in the last episode the mission in the first of new Shepard since a mishap during a period only flight of a vehicle in September of 2022 an investigation tracked the NS23 accident with a structural failure in the nozzle of the vehicle BE3 PM engine caused by the excesses of the heating and a long gap between new Shepard flight sparked stabilizations and the companies was that programs to focus on the other intentives from our next orbital launch vehicle to the Blue Moon Lunar Lander on the New Zealand. I am very optimistic that the first launch of the New Zealand will be in 2024, Bijou said recently while NASA has said is expected the expect Mars missions to be the launch. He said it's possible on the several other Unspecified players will be on the launch, and uh, knowledge being nervous being the launch, a lot of the problems that we might find in flight has been resolved. But there are some problems you can only find a flight be said. So, across for a figure, I grant you can you that you will have fun watching into macro that happened and interview did not discuss the future of the new shepherd all other uh, boss will reflect on his flight on the vehicle is july of 2021 i know the vehicle very well i know the people who design it will have great trust in the terms and the engineering that we did he said on his discussions to be on new shepherd flight First cured flight, I thought to myself, if I am not ready to go, I would want anyone to go. He said, I enjoyed the flight, including the very natural feeling of the weightlessness, as well as the alternation. Our view affect many astronauts report exercising after seeing the Earth from space. If you are not environmental, it will take. Make sure you the four of your last addition, the layers in space developments. Let's enjoy the steering. Uh, Proponent of Uranus from the James Webb Space Telescope for the JWST of short is second image of the Uranus. Uranus and that he JWST has captured this year. The first release in April was a two-tone affair composed the imaging captured an effort of 1.4 and 3.0 microcons. This new image adds extra wavelengths, specifically 2.1 and 4.6, to give a much more complete overview of the seventh planet from the Sun. The new JWST Uranus image in just not just show the planet how our Uranus rings shine bright in the effort light. The JWST of next day has been resolved. The uh, exclusive difficulties in your Zeta ring. Many of the Uranus 27 moon are on the display. The appropriate view shows some of the Uranus smaller failure moon, including some within the rings while the wider view shows Uranus 5 large moons angle wind up. Technius and the JWST new imagine shows Uranus North Pole polar cap almost directly facing US and therefore also facing the sun with a bright spot and a center and a dark color with of which have previously been seen in the effort on radio wavelength observations but were with this clarity before the bright spot seen a white in a new JWST is warmer then its surrounding and is the center of a huge colonic vortex, bright storms, and also visible boiling their way around the polar cap and are believed to be at least priority caused by seasonal variations. Uranus is a really old planet, is that for the reasons unknown, it rolls around the sun on its side. Trailed by 98 degree of the plan of the uh, plan of the orbits of other planets rather than its poles being to atop the planet, we see them. I had to add this brings 
what its unique climates, conditions, and astronomers are to witness with the JWST in our run cap of the Uranus northern summer in 2028. It seems strange now to think that back is in 1986 with NASA Voyager 2 emissions, few lost the ice. Again, the journal concerns was the blue green Uranus appeared a bit boring and a bland atmosphere that are let down after the spoke atmospheric thumbs seen the Jupiter and the student little did planetary scientists realize and the time that had inferred wavelengths which allows to us to view with and featureless has a Uranus has a lot going on as the JWST advanced vision shows providing the best data yet for planetary science trying to figure out how Uranus atmosphere works the observations like also provided and howing the scientific question to be asked by the future mission of Uranus. Well, folks, today it for episode. Thank you so much for tuning. And if you want to support our channel even future, you can hop on over to our Patreon through the link in description below. Sign up and become a Patreon today to gain access to exclusive content. Sound as this thing right. In any case, we still appreciate our generosity and our passion for space exploration. As always, this is Calvin. Our space from Space Saga and until next time came looking up and happy holidays.